It's my first time running the Stanley Parable, so let's try this. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. I'm no used one to that. showed what up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Sounds like a never nice day. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. But I like it here. I'm not doing any work. What? What is this? This... This is... What am I doing? Ooh, you can crouch. Let's get. Move back, move forward, duck, use items, screenshot, pause game, console, turn left, turn right, blah, 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 blah. So let's click. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Oh, what the? Had years gone by? He no longer what? had the ability to what? tell. Wait, but what? the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would. Oh my arrive. God! Soon. Oh my God! I think soon can... now this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here what? it comes. What comes? Oh God! What's going on? What the hell? Huh? Huh? I'm just gonna stay here. Still do my work. Okay. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except back. Take off this subtitle. Badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer oh my had god. the ability to tell. Oh my god, I'm but just in the same cutscene. Sure Jesus Christ. Was that if he waited long enough, what am I the doing? answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. 
Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Okay, back at the start. Now I know not to touch that sh stuff right there. So let's go walk around. And see Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. What happened to my door? Why is it closed? Uh oh, it's locked. What the? Can I go in there? Can I go in there? Can I go in there? Can't go close that. Why are the windows wide out? Can I go in here? Over here? Uh... Maybe here? Uh, uh, it's over there. Can I go here? No. Uh, Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the, the hell? door on his left. Who keeps closing these doors? He said go to the left. Okay, I went to the left. Do I go through here? Through here? No. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Huh. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Oh, I wasn't done. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on that. What the f What is hot? Oh! It opened. No, let's go look for the boss. Coming to a staircase, oh. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. What the hell is first class type shit? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping what from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, what? Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley had what is to going on? the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What is this now? Okay, that's fucking suspect. What the? Just go in a circle? Okay. Do you riding on a creepy elevator to meet Freddy Krueger? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. What is this now? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that what read the Mind Control Facility. 
escape. Escape. Hmm. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Hmm, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Huh? Employee observation protocol. If despite adherence to Protocol 2A and Protocol 2B, an employee leaves the office during work hours and a system loop has failed, you must terminate. What the? What? 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 Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. What? Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Bunch of freaks. Fired. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Is that the boss on there too? That was the boss's office. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Okay, go down elevator, yes, no. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the this? operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm? What is this? What am I pressing? How do you dismantle this? What's going on? Blue... What? Big button. Can't press the big... Wait, there's a number sequence. Is that three? Five? So if I hit one, two, three. God, so much walking. Can I fly? Four. <sighs> Why does it have to be so far?
And that did absolutely nothing. Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange baiting hold? But as sunlight streamed into the timber, he realized that none of this matters to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Was perhaps lagging like crazy. the only thing worth knowing? Stanley stepped through the open door. I'm free? I'm free? Stanley felt the cool oh. breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That's it. Oh, and we start again. I think I'm starting to understand this a bit. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Something. He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the right right way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Shh, stop talking. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth it. Boring. Admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Sounds like me. What is that? Go on this. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot shh, here. Shh, shh, I'm not shh. your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Can I make the jump? The I can't even is jump. That the story Crouch. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. He knows I'm going that way. Someone. Uh. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, Run. but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a oh chance. Oh god, I've seen this in the Matrix. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Red door. Red door. How about this door? Can I go through this door? Do I need a key? Is there a key around here? Red door. Go to the blue. Aha. Perhaps you What the heck? Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, red door. Blue. 
<clears throat> I still don't think we're communicating properly. Oh crap! Stanley walked through the red door. Red door. Blue. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead. What Stanley. the? Heck? You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find yeah. out what lies at the end of this road? You show me. World, don't let me show me the you. door. You see? What the hell? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, uh, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth yeah. ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time well, into that? Well, some of us don't want story then, no. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah. Help me, Stanley. Like Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill yeah. trees? Work yeah. with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already Ooh. feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking oh, for yeah, it gave me a lot more choices. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Whoa. There's a leaderboard? Where am I? What the heck? What the heck? I don't like this. I don't I don't like this. Rating it zero. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, no. honest no. answers, please. No. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Who? What game is it? In this game, what the heck? Baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation. You want me to press the button to save the baby's life? The demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You don't understand, I have four children, I don't care. <laughs> you heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't uh, know what to do. Uh, spite you, yeah. Ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. You can't jump at you. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, well, this is Minecraft. Is this At last, the what one the? thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely what? nothing to do with. What? Is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. How do I get out of here? From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. 
Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I oh, hell no. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own let inadequacy. Me, let me get out of here. Uh, let me but get out of here. You've seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. Uh, I'm starting to hate this game. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. What the heck? They actually got some of this. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Where's oh, the diamonds? No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> what am I now? Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass oh. box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh! It's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much no. to see you stumble through any more of these games. No. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for Portal this Portal gun! Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy and... You... Where am I? Oh. What the horror movie? This just got dark real quick. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back.
The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay, that's it. I'm done.